Yes, how are you today? Uh, this is the uh, YouTube channel where we're talking about uh, doing jujitsu in your 40s. So, anyways, uh, I've been I've been at it. It's been pretty good. I've been feeling pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm losing a couple pounds. So hopefully, um, it starts showing a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I found a really cool uh, video about uh, it's yoga for jujitsu. And I'll, I'll I'll put a link into into the description so you can see, and a really awesome uh, stretches. I mean, like you know, like more than the than the usual that you do uh, for stretching because it's like some it's like a yoga based stuff. But I guess the guy's like a jujitsu practitioner. He's probably like a purple belt, but this guy is completely flexible, man. He's amazing, and some of the uh, techniques that he does for stretching using your belt, so you can do this like after class. And um, uh, I did it last night for like 30 minutes. I mean, it, it was so fast. Like, you, 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 it's amazing how you, you look at his techniques and start doing it next. You know, like the 30 minutes have gone by and stretching. So, but you feel amazing afterwards. I woke up this morning. Usually, when I wake up, my back is killing me. I feel like the Tin Man. Probably said that many times. Um, from the Wizard of Oz, if anybody doesn't know that. And this morning I woke up and I just like sprung out of bed. It was amazing. So you, he does these stretches where you're stretching out your bottom vertebrae, and, you know, your back and, and, you know, like hamstrings and all kinds of weird positions that you that you normally don't do with stretching that really like gets deep down into like, you know, whatever part of your body you're stretching. So I felt really good about that. So I feel pretty good. Um, another thing that, uh, you know, when I first started this and again, I'm, I'm nowhere near where I want to be at all. I mean, I probably know like two moves now, you know, and uh, <laughs> and they're not and I'm not not that good at it. <laughs> but anyways, um, I started watching some videos, and I started you know seeing like uh, these competitions. Like you guys probably heard of this, the Naga, Naga Fighter competition, and you know they have them all over the net, even all over the world. They've like one of the largest. Uh, organized um, competitions around and um, I started looking into different they have different age groups and stuff and I was like oh wow that's pretty cool you know I just thought it was like you know like the UFC you just go there you fight every, everybody fights everybody and then whoever wins but apparently they have different age groups you know they have like for teens you know 20s then they have like the 30 to 39 then they have uh, the 40 to 49 I think that's the director's group and then they have like a master's which is like older but you could be like a novice just like a white belt a beginner I should say not novice beginner and in the 40 to 49 group so that's pretty that's pretty in interesting and uh, so and then I started you know I, I've seen a lot of places where they have like the medal you get to win a cool gold medal and I ran track in high school so they used to give it like like you know the gold medal and silver so that was always kind of cool to get one of those but I saw in the Naga, if you win your weight class or your age group, you know, like second and third prize, you know, they get the cool gold, gold, you know, little medallion, which is cool. But the champ actually wins like this UFC looking belt. It's really awesome. <laughs> so I started thinking about it, you know, and I was thinking, okay, they got another competition coming up this December, but I'm not, I'm not prepared for that. But uh, it's like a goal in my head. I'm, you know, probably not gonna go through with it, but I, may, maybe. But I, it's been really like, you know, making me feel like I want to like start training more. So I started like, yesterday I started doing like the yoga stuff and really trying to stretch and get real flexible. Cause, you know, I figured guys in their 40s probably aren't real flexible that are doing this. So I figured, you know, that could be my strategy. Like get real super flexible so that you know that'll make up for like whatever you know like you know weaknesses i have like whatever it's strength or you know or you know just whatever so i i'm, I'm going with that because i used to be real like when i did martial arts back when i was a kid and man i i literally could do like like van damme was like my hero so i i could do splits i mean i, I would stretch out for hours and hours so you know i know this is like 30 years later but I still feel like I can I can do because I used to stretch for for track and even even throughout like my 20s and early 30s because I used to still kind of like like jog you know just like you know for like you know just for for uh, you know exercise 
um, I would always continuously, you know, do stretches, not like splits, but I would do, you know, these kind of like, um, you know, uh, ballet type stretch, you know, you stretch over, you put your arm over that, you know, I stretch all this back up. So I used to do like a lot of stretching. So I was still kind of flexible up until like the last probably five years, but I probably didn't really need to stretch out. But the last three months I've really been stretching and, you know, and trying to get more flexible. So anyways, but that's like a goal. It's kind of cool, you know, to think that, you know, in your forties that, you know, you can go up against another old guy. <laughs> I think this is this is probably the uh, like uh, what is it called like a, a a midlife crisis kind of deal. That's what my wife always says. But hey, it'll be fun. You know what I mean? I'm not, I want to go into it thinking I'm going to be the champ, but you know that would be that would be cool. So we'll see. You know, I'll keep you guys posted, and and, and I'm actually like little going to go train like an extra day of grappling. Um, so you know, I was only doing like grappling one day. And I uh, like the kickboxing stuff another, but now I'm going to try to do it like two days a week to grappling and to see how that goes. But all right, guys. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think, you know, uh, doing jujitsu in your 40s and, and maybe potentially, uh, you know, going in some kind of competition. So let me know what you guys think about that and what kind of, you know, uh, tips that you can give me, uh, you know, for, for rolling. Oh, I got, I'll have to talk to you about another day. But, uh, you know, the next video I'll talk about um, rolling with the exercise ball. So I bought one of those. Oh, man, that's amazing, man. So, like, I, I don't do a lot of grappling at, uh, you know, like I said, it's only one day a week. And I feel like, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not really, like, doing anything the rest of the week. But with the grappling ball, I'm doing it, like, every other day. It's amazing. But I'll, I'll talk to you about that in another video. All right, guys, have a great day. Appreciate it.